Okay, guys. <sighs> what is it here? It's... Ah! Stop it. Move it. Move uh -huh. out of there. Yeah. It's Sunday morning, and it's time to finally leave Roanoke. Or, we're not quite in Roanoke, but Roanoke area. Look, get out of there. All right, I'll have to come up here. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to leave, um, we're gonna leave this morning. We've got about four hours or so of driving to the West Virginia Ohio border. We'll stay one night, and then tomorrow morning we've got to drive another three or so hours to Jackson Center, to the Airstream factory where we're gonna spend a few days, so. Yep, that's it. That's uh, the capital of West Virginia. We're in Charleston here, guys. Charleston? Yeah, it's the Capitol, Capitol building. Monday morning at 7, 7.30. And we're here on the um, West Virginia, Ohio border. So we drove here last night from Roanoke. Um, we got here yesterday afternoon. And we're just here for one day. So we got this little spot in a, I think it's a state or actually a city park. It's got full hookups, although I only got the electric plugged in because we're here just for one day. But there's a little pond, playground, splash pad, and um, yeah, I'm gonna hook up that one. I had to take a half a day off from work because we need to drive the next three, three and a half hours to the Airstream factory today, this morning. So I'm gonna just hook up, give the kids their school lesson, and then hit the road. This is a, a little levee, and you can see they have floodgates here that you drive through. So there's the levee, like that big earth berm. And then see this wall here? This is a. Uh, look, look, this is a floodgate. They gate. can close these floodgates. Wow. But when the river rises. Wow. Yeah. The Ohio River is up here, so. Yes. They have this little terraport with eight, uh, three circles of eight spots each. You can see here, and you just pull into any one of them. And you can stay here. So. So here we are at the Airstream factory. Um, more specifically, the what they call the terraport, where you can park your Airstream for free, where you're getting it serviced. So there's 24 spots. Basically, they're arranged in three circles with eight spots to a circle, and you can just back in, and you get all your and you get all your hookups. If anyone's curious, the way it works here is um, so we got here. It's Monday, and our service is tomorrow morning at starting at 7 a.m. So at 7 a.m. we have to have everything disconnected from the trailer, 
um, the chocks out, the power cord and everything off, they will come at 7 a.m. with a forklift and tow the airstream from the spot here to the one of the service bays, which are right here. Um, then we go into a, I go into a waiting room over there where they have a lot of cool air, airstream paraphernalia that you can buy and other stuff. But um, after about 45 minutes, a tech will come out apparently and then talk to me about you know what they found or you know what it's going to take to fix um, whatever we're, we're ever looking to get fixed. And then you know we just we have to leave and we just leave the airstream there. And they work on it all day, and then around 4 p.m. they'll bring it back to this spot here. So during the day, we have to just go somewhere else. I mean, we could stay in the waiting room, but what we did is we rented a little cabin at a KOA, the same KOA we're going to be staying at in a couple of days when the work here is done. Um, they have a little cabin with no bathroom and stuff, but at least I can work in there. It's got air conditioning. So we'll go there for the day and then come back. And then for us, the main things we're getting fixed here, number one is the door. And you can see our door here. Here it is kind of shut, flush, flush. Look how much it comes out up here. And so it's just, you gotta really slam it. So that's the number one we got a thing we gotta fix. And then there's a bunch of other little things like some cabinets that are loose. Um, the fan over the range doesn't really work. Uh, sometimes the fresh water tank gets filled up when you hooked up to city water. What that means is like the there's like a backflow preventer valve for when you you know use the tank versus the city water and it probably just leaks sometimes or it gets caught open stuck open um they're gonna have them look at the bumper which is bent but i don't know if we're really gonna fix that and we'll see what us what else i can dig up while we're doing i'm debating whether to get new tires but i probably will i mean our tires are pretty good it's just the only reason that why i would get new tires now is Full timing and all it's so hard for us to get service appointments it's so hard to bring the airstream somewhere where we got to live in it so even if the tires only have six months or a year left or whatever you know if it's convenient to do it now maybe i'll do it now but i don't think i will but we'll see anyway um oh the other thing is the factory tours are closed until september because of covid so we're super bummed about that we would have loved to go on in and into the factories but Oh well. That's the tractor. That there is the tractor they use to move the airstreams. Watch out, watch out, he's got a tractor, let's go. Out of the, uncle's way. Come on, follow me, out of uncle's way. John's inside, we just went to get breakfast at McDonald's or we're gonna go see the service center, talk to the tech. Like Dory, yes. Dory, wait. Oh, this is a little cute little Dad, airstream. Okay, 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 come over here. Oh, look, some more little airstreams. See? What you doing? The bag, the bag down. <laughs> Hear that, Sean? <laughs> cool little desk. Airstream paraphernalia. We got airstream water bottles, airstream books, airstream filters, stickers, hats. We should get this for Tutu. See, she'd love that. Okay, Kelly, let's okay. get it. Let's get it. All right, well, I'm back here. 
at the Airstream and uh, they did everything in one day. Um, so let me show you what we got fixed. Starting with, I got a new uh, head on the cable here. Because our old head, this is the thing that keeps the, you know, it from pulling out of the truck. A chunk was broken off. And so it would get loose. It would never fall out, but it would get loose. And sometimes I'd lose like my right turning lights. So that's been fixed. Um, the next thing, one of the big things here, I didn't plan on doing it, but we got four new tires. Um, the treads on the old tires were still good. I was debating whether to replace them though, um, just because we don't have a lot of opportunity and time to get stuff serviced. Ultimately, I'm like, ah, I won't replace them now, but I did want them to go and um, take the tires off, inspect the brakes and the bearings, because I've never had that done. And they're telling me, you know, you probably should do it each year. And since we're full-timing, um, I had them take all the tires off. They actually found a bad shock, so they replaced the shock. And then they told me the tires, even though they were, the brakes were good, they're fine. The tires, even though the treads were good on the inside, it was worn down a little too much. And so they kind of recommended replacing it and I was already on the fence. So I'm like, all right, just do it, replace them. And so I'm happy I got new tires on there now. Um, we had the AC units and the roof sealants all inspected. Um, the door, which is the main thing I wanted, it's, it still doesn't close super nice. Like they're saying, oh, it should just be you know, like oh actually it did close good like that it, it's 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 a lot better hopefully it stays that way i'll talk to them tomorrow to see about like if there's any preventative measures or things I have to be aware of um then i think that's it for outside here and then let's go inside and i'll show you what was done in there so i just went inside and talked to the tech that worked on our airstream and paid the bill and so first things the tech said in addition to the tires, I was talking about those, you know, yesterday. Um, the tire, one tire also had a nail in the side. It just wasn't flat because it was up on it. But the sidewalls, I think where I hit like the curbs at my in-laws house and all, they were pretty, you know, in pretty rough shape. So I'm super happy that the tires got replaced um, because that's, you know, I just, the last thing I want is a blowout because that'll just be a nightmare and could tear apart the underneath of the Airstream. He also said, you know, he fixed these cabinet doors that were never quite right since we did that off-roading boondocking when I drove too fast um, including this one and he uh, kind of redid this whole section to make it all line up a little better um, he uh, replaced the water pump so the water pump which is underneath here back behind there he pulled all the drawers out and he replaced the water pump because the backflow preventer wasn't working on there that's why we hook up to the city water the water goes in to the water pump and um, the backflow preventer, since it wasn't working, was filling up the fresh tank, which is why our fresh tank was getting filled up, even though we weren't trying to fill it up. Um, what else? They replaced, oh, our fan here, which wasn't working. Instead of just replacing the fan unit in here, they just replaced this whole piece. Um, let's see, and uh, oh, the squeak on the floor is mostly fixed here. That squeak on the floor here that's the thing where the dealer in san diego when they looked at it they said oh that's going to be a huge job we're going to take apart the whole you know bottom of the airstream we got to rip apart this that and the other but whatever this guy did he just it's pretty much fixed <laughs> so that's great um the total i'm really happy because the total a lot of it was they did a bunch of stuff under warranty like the um the door which was i think a big thing they did under warranty the water pump the water pump i think they did under warranty and, and the hinges and stuff some of that stuff so um in the end it only came to well, i say only but 1481 dollars that's in, you know and that includes putting that new shock on putting the new tires like four new tires in the labor so i thought it was going to be like three thousand dollars so i'm pretty happy um you know that it's uh that it was a lot cheaper than a, than i thought it was going to be a few other interesting tidbits i learned while in the service center 
So the building that's right behind us over here, the old Airstream building, that's the old factory. And that actually was where they built everything up until about a year ago during like COVID. COVID is now when they opened up the big factory over there. That's about a quarter mile away. And it's not open for tours yet, but that one, they have a Airstream Museum apparently. It's a huge factory, a huge space. The old factory here, they're just building the motorized, like they have those Airstream motorized units. And the, the woman told me that that's where they build those. And I think the base camps maybe in a little building here, but everything else, all the travel trailers get built in the other one. And I mean, you know, when you see the two buildings, the different sizes, they're clearly gonna be ramping up production big time. So I don't know how many more units they're gonna be making a year, but we're probably gonna end up seeing a lot more Airstreams on the road in the near future. Because, yeah, they're going to be producing them like uh, hotcakes in this new factory. I really wish we could have seen it. We'll have to come back sometime and take a look. But anyway, that's, uh, that's about it, I think. So, overall, a good experience. And, and Jess picked up some Airstream paraphernalia. We got... Oh, show us, show us our new Christmas ornament, Logan. That's for, for our tree and Ben. Yep, this is for our Christmas tree. Look at this cool little... It looks like us and Steamboat Airstream. Springs. Yeah, our Airstream Christmas ornament. And we got a present from my mom. Oh no, I can't put this on the video because now she's going to see. Ugh. My mom loves flamingos. And now she has a white Airstream hat. Forget you saw that, mom. It's going to be a birthday or Christmas present. We're going to give out free little pens. Oh yeah, we got our free little, <laughs> we got our free little Airstream <laughs> pens. And then I also got my uh, hinges, right? Oh Where's yeah. My hinges? Where is it? In here? Oh, over here. I picked up, they did to the doors yeah, I picked up stuff. a few I picked up a few oh, extra hinges in case I go off-roading again too fast all right